Saudi Arabia is lighting up football. If you like it or hate it, they're spending so much money to bring the top talent. Cristiano Ronaldo, Ruben Neves, and now Karim Benzema all play in the East. Despite how much money the clubs do have, there's one with only 2.6 million, and today we're going to be rebuilding Al Khalij over here in Saudi Arabia. No financial takeover, no nothing. We're giving it a shot. The team survived by only three points last season, so we've got to do it. We've got to raise the funds. We've got to raise them in the table, and we've got to raise them a new manager. Fight the issues in the table for Al Khalij. They're going to go ahead and get a big manager in world football. That's right. Massimo Allegri has left his job at Juve after a bit of pressure and come to Saudi Arabia. This is the team that we've got to rebuild. We've got the captain of Souza in the middle and we've got Fabio Martins of Portugal on the wing. The reserves are kind of weak as well as the bench. So this team's going to take some rebuilding. Hey, we've got Frederick to put in goal. But I can't wait for this challenge. It's a big one. Actually, welcome to the club as well. Another keeper in João Martins, another Martin from Portugal. But Saba Al Kani, he's going to be our striker. Promote most of these as well. Loan deals won't hurt. And in Saudi Arabia, the signings are coming through, but they are a little bit old to start off with. So the first one is a 35-year-old Bartos Bielowski from Millwall. A cheap, reliable keeper could be here for a couple of years. And actually, before the season starts, I've changed Al Kani to a winger because he's better suited to crossing balls in and, of course, being here on that wing. Before signing another player on quite a high wage and again from the championship, we've signed Eric Peters from West Bromwich Albion for a bit of versatility around the defence. A high wage, however, as this last one is here as well, Jimenez from, well, I can't remember where he's from, actually. He's from the MLS. He's a right back. I'm pretty sure it might have been Austin, yes. I was definitely going to say Austin. That completes our team before Al Hilal for the first game. No idea what to expect, but Odi and Igala up front for them. We give it a good go, Poco. But Morega and Sula Oh well, still. We've got a lot of lone players this season, but to be fair, I don't mind. The only expectation is to get a high finish, kind of, to try and get some revenue in for next year and it looks like we've reached this month off here in january how is the league form going to be doing though that is the question for al Khalij and allegri it's 15th it's mediocre at best we're actually second bottom which doesn't sit well with me but we've won some games we've drawn some it's not as bad as i actually expected and that is crazy to say the board wanted us above eighth we are eight points off being above eighth it's a marathon not a sprint and the team Oh, he's all over the place. That's because of recalls to probably our striker, so we've got to think about replacing that. We have got another player through the academy, Ojeda, who looks brilliant. Some positives for the future, but that's literally it from the academy. With the money we have, it's not really much at all, so I'm going to trust Alcani to go as a centre forward for the remainder of the season and change up our right-hand side. Oh my lord, we only finished... How did we... I'm sorry. How do we not get into the actual, the, the, the playoffs? I'm guessing it is. Al Nasir, Ronaldo's Al Nasir finished top of the group, but Allegri, I knew it was a good manager. He's got a seventh. It's that top half of the table, and it has somehow magically occurred. I also didn't mention the objectives of this save. It is to win the league and win the Asian Continental Cup, which we're not in at the moment. Unbelievable how we almost got. Yeah, sixth anyway. I'm guessing it might have been Alcani that scored as the goals to fire us up. But even Frederick in the goals getting better. Kind of regret the Blazikowski signing. But can't live with them regrets as Sabad Alcani. What a man scoring 10 goals and 7 assists. Probably from his time on the wing. Martins and Souza. It shows you the overall potential despite how old they are. From 18 to 32 in Souza. Just needs to be signed to help us score. This season has to be a lot better money-wise. Four million, hey, an extra million. I mean, it doesn't really mean much, does it, as they want us to fight for the league title when there's Al Nasir and Al Hilal and Al Dad. No chance, no chance. I think relying on this academy could be good, though. Find another Al Kani or potentially sell him on. But would we make as much money this season as we could in the future? We want to have a good season this year because Douglas Friedrich, the Brazilian, and Lucas Souza, also Brazilian, both leave. And a 35-year-old signing. That's what you want to see to try and propel you to, of course, the top of the league. 
and the 72 overall. We've got 2 million left after the signing of Matthias Suarez from Bournemouth. Relegated to Bournemouth, so it's a decent enough wage. And we just need goals for this season. And speaking of goals, I think it is to keep Alcani maybe for one more year. After that, we'll let him continue with his career. Allegri's got to speak more confidently now and get the board on his... And one more signing cooking. But that'll have to come after Alta Woon, who it is our first game of the league. Allegri's got to speak more confidently now and get the board on his side. Honestly, winning the league, what are they like? What's going to happen here with our new striker and our brilliant wingers? We're still going to lose. And on a one-year contract, we've signed a mammoth of a defender. Even though he's 35, we're going to stop with the old signings after this season. But we had to bring him in. Welcome to al Khalish Yunis Abdelhamid from Stade de Rems. Will still will be furious. Took a decent player there to make a decent team. One central midfielder, and we may cook with this team. Although, we've got no money. Maybe till January. And look at the job that we've done since last season. This year, Allegri's working his magic and has al Khalish fifth in the Saudi League. This is amazing stuff. What dreams are made of. We're one point behind Hal Hilal. Oh, my days. We will do anything to be in the Asian Continental Cup, which was won by Al Nassar as well. Didn't show that last year. But still, is our team good enough to keep on doing it? And most importantly... Is Alcani still going to be our player? And I bet you're thinking, Alcani, where can he go? Real Madrid? Barcelona? He's gone to Bournemouth for 50 million. Don't ask. He's proven himself where Suarez was our striker. And going to the championship, that gets us closer to what the other clubs have been having 41 million. And I don't want it taking off us in January. So that means we've got to get rid of it. First thing that I'm going to do, we send scouts to Saudi Arabia, India and China. We need to find the next Alkani to earn more money. And looking at our team, I think the positions I want to go for is right back, centre back, centre midfield and another striker. Why not? So let's start off big, shall we? And then gradually get smaller. But you got to go big first. Welcome to the club. Josef Martinez, the Venezuelan, is coming over to Saudi Arabia to try and lift our Khalidja up. As then we have the cheaper player of Lucas Calgari, that right back. And then our big centre back, the number 13, unlucky for some, but not us. Mark Bartra from Trabonspor leaves us still with 10 million to find a midfielder. But maybe we're not going to actually spend all that. We've got Fabio Alvarez from Go Ahead Eagles. He's just in the middle of the road. We're going to save some money so the board don't get angry with us. And them signings have actually put us in fourth at the end of the year. So get in there. A top four finish, never mind seven. Seventh wasn't even great, but Al Reid, Al Tawun, Al Khalish, Al Itiad, Al Hilal and Al Nasir all make up top six. A rapid growth from last year. As you can see, we're not in the group stage of the Asia Continental Cup. I'm guessing that carries on from last year. Damn. But we may well qualify because Al Nasir, Al Itidad, Al Hilal and Al Fati all made it. So the four teams from Saudi Arabia, if you get where I'm coming from. We got a top score of this season in Fabio Martins. Now, of course, we have lost Al Kani, but Martina scoring nine. Promising since he's just turned up. Nine million given by the board. So they're getting there. Still not Al Nasir level or Al Hilal. But it's better. We've got a lot of players running out of contracts. But a very okay squad. We've lost Souza. That is the first thing we need to do. Replace him. They want us fighting for that title. No continental success. That's weird. That's financial important. Youth still very important. That's a surprise to me. So here's the first replacement for Sousa straight away. We've gone quite niche with this one. We've gone ahead and got Jesus Pretel from Martimo in Portugal. And he's joined by the almost £4 million number seven, Junio Bakuna from Cardiff City. He went from Cardiff to Birmingham, back to Cardiff. Now to al -Kalish. And that doesn't stop us from selling players as well. Bringing some in means outgoings even in the CDM position before we get into the first game of this year. It is Al-Tal the first game. Got to build on a fourth place position. What is it going to be? I think Martinez is in for a lot of goals this season. And we've won. But it's Murato, the right-hand sided player who's took over al -Kani. And we're going to skip deadline day as well. So only the two midfielders make the cut. I wanted a huge signing, but we didn't get the budget. I'm hoping we do very soon. And are we in this title race that we do want to be in? Oh, I got excited then. We're six points off Al Nasser. 
But we are second. Very, very good season. We're five points clear of Etifak, who are seventh. And we don't have much money in two million. But do we have a top scorer at the club? We've got second, which is Martins. He's still going strong. Giving everything for the club. But Martinez, you need to step it up, mate. You should be top by far. And all we've really done at the halfway point is contracts, which has took us money down a little bit. But not much. We've sold players as well. I just want to see where we finish. Oh, wait, but checking the league table, you can see what's been threaded through all the calendar, should I say. We've got games. Come on. We're in Group D of the Asian Continental Club with Beijing Guan, Gangwon FC, and ATK. And in other great news, it shouldn't really be great in real life, but Cristiano Ronaldo is retiring this season at Al Nasir. 82 rated anyway, but that's good. For a potential leapfrogging approach. Maybe the end of this year or next. We've got a manager of the month award as well. Before we play this first game in the group stage. ATK are the first game in this huge cup. For of course Massimo Luegri. Can he get off to a good start? Only a draw. I'm hoping we get out of the group. As at the end of the league cycle, we are second. What a finish for Al Khalij. Al Nasir finishing top by 12 points. We've got to cut that down next season. Stop drawing games and stay above Al Hilal. How did we do in the Continental? We bossed it. No defeats but four draws. 10 points takes us through top of the group. If it goes with Group D and C playing each other, we should have Seoul or Saul. Excited nevertheless. We're ready for it with an injection of youth. Akpan on the bench. Ojeda's still growing. We've got Kovalenko. We've got Hasawi. And then we've got Shah, who's a striker, who's 16 year old. Jan, who's 16 year old as a winger. And in goal, Martins. 74 rated. Two of our best players called Martins now. That is pretty weird as the outfield one gets the most goals before Martinez. But Junior Bakuna. Is the player who gets into double digits on both goals and assists. It does take us into the next season, this competition, however, and you can see all around what are our expectations. Win the league title, not even compete, but win it, as they want the Asian Cup winning as well. Five games without defeat, Youth Academy still going. Give us seven million as well. We get to the Asian Cup, and then they cut our money off. I think it's about time we brought in some really good quality players to the new, of course, Super League that it seems. So welcome to the club, Mario Goetzer. It is a free agent, of course. Seven million. Can't even buy Goetzer. Thought he was decent. Can play on the wing for Morato, even though Morato's good, because Poco's definitely retiring soon. As our only other addition as well is Lino Galeno from the Eredivisie to shore up the bat line next season. Be a good season if we beat Al Nasir as well. I really do want to cook with gas. The first game of the season, even without Ronaldo, they beat us. But hey, we've got the quarterfinal of the Asian Continental, Sydney FC. Please say Allegri can do a mastermind approach in this competition. Yes, we've won the first leg. But it all matters in the second leg as well. One leg does not put us through to the semi-finals. It's a 2-0 win though. Mario Goetzer with a goal. And Al Khalij will be in the semi-finals of the Asian Continental. As I've just noticed, Al Nasir aren't in this competition. We have Kangju FC. Wow, this is one hell of a chance. Lakadi are up front for them. But that might put us in the final. Second leg again it needs to be even better. But our team is cooking at the moment. And we've won six. What an aggregate. To make the final, we will face Ulsan Hyundai as well. Al Hilal are beaten. This is the biggest opportunity of them all. What an opportunity for us. The, the Al Jaid Stadium, we could win the champions or the Asian Champions League before we've actually won this division. Sensational stuff. So let's get going, shall we? This is going to be one huge game. I really hope we can come through, though. This would be a big win. We've really got to hope for a performance here and not mess this huge opportunity up. Still don't know what to expect from Hyundai. We're palling with their defenders. Mark Bartra very dodgily with the pass out though. What's happening here? 11 minutes in, I thought we'd have a leap by now. I know how overpowered our team is as they're coming forward. They're cutting inside and they're getting a shot off. Terrible start from us. Look at that, even the runs they're getting on us. Adam... The referee's pointed to the spot and it's a penalty for Hyundai. And it's a red card for Anthony. Oh my days. Our defender has been sent off. It was after the ball had gone. 
Allegri's had a shocker. Can't really blame it all on the manager, though. I'm going to stay down the middle to save this one, but it's slammed home. And we are losing in the final. Good finish from there, man. And now we've got to try and step it up. Oh, poor as they're running at us again as well. And oh my days, it is 2-0. What is happening here? Just take kickoff, lads, and get going again. Because this, this is awful. Still got time to get back into this game, though. Switching the ball across into Amiral. He's been here a while. What a first touch and what a strike. As that is halftime as well after that real chance which is the only one for us horrific start i'm hoping for a comeback here but all oh my days it's being made three nil it's actually embarrassing at this stage a terrible display so far but here's mario goetze he's got josef martinez running over the top who's got a good touch and another stop this game's been horrific to us as look adams even through again and he's chipped the goalkeeper this is Horrific. If this was the Champions League, we would be laughed out of the competition. Can we get a goal back? No, it's still saved. And it's a poor header. Ten men in a final. Four nil down. And it's an embarrassment. It is embarrassing in the Asian continental. First time in. Let's hope we can just do it in the league. And we'll have to go again. Dust it off. Shake it off. Al Hilal, we could be worse. You can see they're in seventh and we are in third in the league. Eight points off Al Nasir, who haven't been beaten. The team that was a letdown, especially Anthony right there, has to be better next season round, which I think it should be. As signings don't really matter for this year. But they do next year. Stefan Savic has joined on a pre-contract. It's a lot of money for him. But hey, what a player to have next year. Save the three million for next year. And pray we're still in that Continental Cup. And of course we qualified for it last year. We have Wuhan Three Towns, Joan Punk, Hyundai, and Western Sydney Wanderers. I fear a Hyundai side again. But at the end of the season, there's positives we do go through in the Asian Continental. Don't know who we'll have. And we won the title. Two defeats. The draws didn't let us down this time. They beat Al Nasir to the title by a point. So that is one of two trophies won so far. The only one we need to do now is the one we failed mid-season. Who's scoring most goals for us? We've got a player on international duty. Kale Gary has gone to play with Brazil. That is an amazing thing for a Saudi club as Fabio Martins is on the decrease. Martinez is on the decrease as well. But Bakuna on the up with double digits again. And Gertz is going down. It has to be now or never. Expectations are probably known. Win the league, win the cup. We won't have to win the league if we win the cup because that'll be it over. And we've um, we've lost Martinez and we've lost Goetze. At least we've still got Captain Martins. That is just a shock to the system, really. But without those... And also Matt Barter has gone. So we've got to replace Martinez and, of course, our winger Morata has gone. And then Goetze, but Savic's in at the same time. That's one positive, as I think we have a striker as well. Mauro Icardi was lately playing in Turkey, and now he's come to Saudi Arabia to play for Al Qaish. As also they say, if he can't beat them, join them. That's why we've robbed to Al Nasir's Abdullah Al Amiri, who I think is one of the world's best Saudi Arabian centre-backs, so... Why not go for him? Even though we already had Anthony. He let us down in the cup and we're weakening Al Nasir. Even though also we don't really want to compete with them. We want to win the Asian Continental. That is it. As Hawassi and Ajeda are our weakest players now. But our best players because they're homegrown. You saw how Al Kani turned out. And that is what we want from him. As now we'll go to the first game of the season. We also start with Al Itidad. A decent team. They got Kante and Kareem. And they do get a draw out of us as well. Savic scoring on his debut for Al Khalid. It's a decent point. But we've got a point to prove. Because we've got Hyundai. Olsen Hyundai in the quarterfinals at the Wall Stadion. Revenge could be on the cards in the quarterfinal. Allegri's got a beautiful defense and a good striker who could fire us through. It is only a draw as well, this one. Even though we've leaked two goals, I still trust Allegri at the Al Jahid Stadium to get past these. Revenge must be sweet. And it is. It took extra time as it was another 2 2 draw in added time or normal because in added. Icardi got his hat trick and puts us through to the semis. I'm very excited still. And we're going straight to the semi finals. Stadion Hanguk for SD Taishan. I love butchering names. I just do it for fun, don't I? This is Fellaini's team. 
but we've beaten them 3-2. Icardi with a brace. Still one leg to go though, and we're simming through these. I really want to be in the final. Get in there. Icardi and Ajeda seals it. And my camera's just died. We will play Wuhan 3 Town who were in our group. That is very interesting that they've beaten Al Hilal. Back at the Al Jaheed for the game as well, as I do want to check our team before this and our league position. We might not see it again. Our best player is definitely Kale Gari with Martins, a youth player, second. And scoring wise, Ikadi's already got 11 in 13. We've already won the division, and it is a good job we have. Allegri, move back to the European leagues after this because you might get sacked. Honestly, horrific. Al Nasir lead the way, but it doesn't matter because we can win the one that we need to win. The league's done. Now to the cup. Not the biggest stadium to play here against the Chinese outfit of Wuhan Three Towns. It is a very, very interesting fixture here. Not being in this competition, but treat it like a Champions League final and get the victory. Mario Cardi is going to be the main man in this one. I've got to believe. 4-0 the last time we played in this very important game, so it has to be better. Kale Gari. We could start off with a goal right here. That is a shot on goal or not. I thought it took a touch, but obviously didn't. But we've got to keep going like that start. Ojeda into Pretel. He's very far out, but we're going to power one out for a corner. Anyone up there to head the ball? Icardi could be decent, but Savic is the one who gets there. And it is the new signing. The Montenegrin centre-back who puts it home for al Kayish to take the lead in the Asian Champions League. We still need to keep on going though, and we've got work down this side. Martins, I thought he'd be gone when we first started here, but he's still here, and Icardi's trying his luck. Lads, let's just keep on going though. Keep on going, and it will happen. No. Pretel strikes the crossbar. Icardi tries to get there with his shoulder. Domination for us. Savic's goal is the thing that separates the sides at the break, but I saw he had a little bit of an injury above his head. I'm hoping it's okay. And I'm hoping we can progress more than one. Need to keep on cooking because we know they can have shots. We know what happened against Hyundai. We looked very good, but they ultimately got four goals and us zero. But we could have another here. What a horrible touch. And just around 20 minutes to go. It is still only the one goal. Martins wants to lift that trophy. We've got to do everything to try and make it happen. I'm surprised how quiet Icardi's been. He's been woeful and oh dear, they're number nine trying to get past us. We've got to be careful at the back. He chow into Jan, into Yakubu, who slams it home for Wuhan. It's not going to be an easy ending, you know. Far from it. It's a goal for the Chinese side now. A ziz on the back of his shirt. And we need to go again. Really need a goal before full time. We've won a lot of finals 2-1. Could it be the same here in Asia? That is a good move from the youngster. Hawasu, it slipped past the keeper. And it may just happen. Very late on, a Saudi Arabian comes up for the Saudi club and El Kaish could be lifting this. What a finish from the youngster. Got past the defense, broke through it, and that is a finish. We've just got to hope that's how the game finishes. Their players diving recklessly into tackles. Martins needs to be on the field to lift the trophy. They've got to be careful, and we can't lose this ball. We've managed to flash it out wide. Two minutes left on the clock, and there's a bit of a taste of their own medicine. We need to play like them to try and keep our lead. Oh, what a tackle from Savic. Whack that ball forward, mate, and that is the whistle. It is a first win of the Asia Continental Cup. It didn't go right in the first game. We've got to keep it real. Hyundai were a challenge, but not Wuhan. And now al have gone from the poorest club in Saudi Arabia to the richest. Bakuna, Goetze, Martinez, Icardi, they've all played a part in getting here. They've got to celebrate as a group. They have earned it. Come on, what a team. It has to be Fabio Martins, the Portuguese, to lift the trophy. Our number 93, he's been the best player. He's been here from the start. And that trophy definitely isn't the real one. But there we have it. What an achievement. A different kind of achievement for a shake-up. If you want us to go back to normal, back to the Premier League, etc. Or try another challenge outside of Europe, let us know down below. Whatever you guys decide, I will try and get done. This was just a little bit of a different one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here.